Welcome everyone, welcome to the channel today for another video. Hope you're all doing well. It's very different this one. Normally it's the sim racing video here that we're doing an introduction like this. But for today, we've got a day off work. So what better way to spend the day? Let's play some golf today. We're going to be playing on master difficulty for this one. The goal here is to go below 60. Now, being a Friday, I thought, why not align this one to the real world here, the USPGA. I do believe they're in Copperhead this weekend. Uh, we are Friday, so why not do a Copperhead challenge with the exact same conditions that they're facing in, uh, in I think it's Florida, this course, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I probably should have done my uh, research before I started this video ahead, but, uh, this video, but, uh, but we are Copperhead. Let's just check the course details here. Um, so we are playing the black tee, 7,340 yards. Uh, I've gone with default uh, conditions here. Um, normal fairways, firm greens, uh, medium green speed, 5.4. I think that's a stint meter rating. Um, and then light cloud and noon. So yeah, I do believe the conditions are quite favorable uh, from what I was seeing on the TV last night. Uh, it was kind of, kind of sunny, low wind. So hopefully we get that today. And like I said, the goal here master difficulty um we're gonna try to shoot below 60 today that's the goal i've pretty much normally around about 60 but i've never actually done it on master um i've been playing a hell of a lot of pro difficulty lately um with uh, with a friend doing out shot spoon uh, is his name um you can probably catch me out on stream actually monday to friday around about 8 p.m uk time and then over the weekend i kind of stream very loosely i'm not too sure what the what the schedule is over the weekend with a 40 month old girl it's kind of very very difficult to get a solid uh baked in schedule but um you can check me out on stream i do stream this game quite a bit as well as the sim content but yeah i've been playing a lot of pro difficulty ranked online matches lately so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge today because obviously the meter is going to be a lot faster than what i'm used to on pro difficulty now to counter that i uh, Back in the day, I've played golf games for around about 30 years, kind of showing my age right now. And I am kind of used to very fast uh, meters on a three-click meter. Days of Lynx 2003, that sort of thing. Um, and then previous, but probably going way, way, way back now before a lot of you will remember. Um, so I'm pretty good with the three, the three click. I am a controller player by, by default. I uh, grew up on Tiger Woods um, on the console playing controller. I got very, very good on controller as maybe some of you might remember uh but we're going to be doing something different now i'm on three click i don't like the inconsistencies sometimes that the game gives you regarding the controller um and i am going back to my roots with the with the three click but like i said master difficulty much faster uh needles top and bottom and obviously the uh the miss mark is a lot smaller than pro difficulty so this should be a good challenge today i've waffled on enough let's get into it and let's see if we can shoot low so here we go guys Hello there, and a big fat welcome to PGA Right, hello Tour guys, here we go. Let's do this. Quest Hopefully for 59. Yet again on Master end. Difficulty. As you can see, we are using the three-click uh, this year. Uh, something Let's different. This round Got bored of using the, uh, the controller. The it's uh, a little bit too easy on the controller, and a little bit inconsistent at times as well. Um, but hey-ho, that's for another video. Uh, right, let's go. Let's do this. And uh, because I'm an old, uh, an old fart these days... Uh, the three click is actually a, a challenge to be consistent with the slower reaction. So this should be a good challenge here. As you can see, we've got a lovely day here in Florida. Uh, same, uh, same course conditions as we're seeing here in the real world. So let's go. Let's do this. Let's see if we can launch it over the corner. Uh, we kind of want to be down here in the neck, uh, so we can have a go at the uh, at the par five here. Obviously, as you can see, we've got no. Actually, let's just go and confirm we are on Master Difficulty. Straight up Master Difficulty. Let's go. Let's do this. Right, let's bang this first one down. Hopefully, we get, we might just have one uh, one practice swing here. Oh, jeez. That's a bit... <laughs> that's a bit bad. Let's not do that too much. And now we're the other way. Okay. We'll get the timing in a minute. It's just because I've been so used to playing pro difficulty on stream. Um, okay, time is getting better. Yeah, so you get used to the much slower dial on pro difficulty. Okay, so we've got the timing. We're getting pretty good. 
Let's go. Let's just do one more. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Right. Let's see. Let's go. Let's do this. Just Boom. What a way to start. Way. Get in. Come on. This should finish absolutely perfect right down in the neck of the fairway if it gets a lucky bounce. So we are going for the 59. I think par is 71 yeah, here. So we're pin. looking at... Uh, yeah, well, we need to go. We need to go low. We should be able to do it as long as we don't have any silly mistakes. Obviously, we don't have any kick line information. We don't have any uh, numbers on here, so it's all basically as we see it. Um, let's have a look. Two away up here. I think this might be okay. We can have a good go with this. Looks like this is going to kick to the right off the fairway. Uh, we've got the wind balancing this one off. We don't want to go right down here. So even if we come over this side, I think we're going to be in good shape here. So let's just play the uh, five iron just here. Ooh, a little bit late down the bottom. Might be okay, though. Might be okay. Should this get a kick. For the rough. Go on. Go, 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 go. Go on, baby. Get up there. Okay. Well, bit loose. We were a little bit late. That's a... That's a solid deal. Uh, right. Okay, third shot. So I think this is probably going to want to be about... I think kind of want to be about here. Looks like the fairway is quite flat. We should get a one bounce to the left. One bounce to the left here. I normally go about two grids short. So two grid lines short on a chip shot just to let it release. Late again. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Boom! That's the way to start. Get in. You get eagle. eagle free nice. chip. We love to see that. Replay, I think. What a start. What a start. Beautiful, beautiful judge. Definitely okay, getting a lot better at the chip shots. Two under par for the day. Her up here on the second. Two under par, three one. You love to see that. So, do we want to bomb this? I mean, it's quite a short hole. Um, water on the right. Let's just take that out of play completely. We'll, we'll use the three wood here. Just play for the big fat part of the air fairway. If anything, we want to be late on the dial. And we're early on the dial. <laughs> but that's okay. That's not too bad. Stay there, baby. Stay there. Come on. Second shot here on hole number two. Uh, right. Looks like we've got a huge kick lie here. So this is where master difficulty is pretty, pretty tough. Um, so what have we got? Uh, 129. What have we got? 137. This is probably... We're pro probably going to be looking at maybe full loft here. up 17 so we're gonna have to add a five yards onto this ball so one three four i'm gonna go back here we've got to work this kick lie out i think this is going to be here the wind's coming the opposite way as well okay that's not too bad come on be the number too much way too much loft way too much loft that's the difficult thing about nice master difficulty. Unless green. you've got your distances mapped on a on a document or something, it's very hard to remember what the loft is gonna do to affect it. But there we go. Right. First part, one foot uphill. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna leave these arrows where they are. So I, I am a field putter, but I do have a counting method as well. But I, I'm generally going to go all on field today just to make the video a lot quicker. Let's try there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Could be. Oh, what a roll. Oh, man. What a start. Eagle birdie. Boom. And after that one, we'll bring Solid. the score down to three under. Teeing up on hole number right, three. Three. What have we got? 407 yards. 407. We're going to just play for the fat part here. That's not a great one. That is not a great one. Good down the bottom. Not so good up the top. 
and this is about 165 yards or 165. so. To Let's uh, bring this nine iron back. We have the wind. And we have a kick glide by the look of it. I'm going to go back there. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Coming into the green. Come on, ball. Sit in there. Sit in there, ball. Could this oh, be yeah. three, no, three in a row? Come well on. Done. Five feet to the cup from here. That might be too hard. Nope, going. that's good. And your score this round is currently four Get in. Par. What a start. Four under par. And now teeing off on a par three. Right, seven iron, 187, 188 to the pin, five down. So that's really going to be hard to judge this one. I think we're probably going to go about half loft. I mean, we kind of just want to bounce it just on this rough fringe area, I think. Come on, be good. Oh, it's got to go. Come on, it's got to go. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. This is where mass difficulty oh, gets tricky. Kind of missed the mark a little bit. Oh, right. And from the green side bunker. This is where we could be in trouble. Let's look how small these areas are. Let's have a little practice. That's not great. That's better. That's better. All right. 75. So we've got an 85 to 90% lie. It's going to run once it hits. But I don't know what this kick lie is doing here. It's really hard to judge in the bunkers. We're going to go for this. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Sit down, baby. All right. Not a whole lot of work left to do here. Nice shot. And this will save your par. Come on. Let's not ruin the hard work. Turn. Yes. Solid. And Good up and down. It on into the cup for par. Let's see if we can take advantage of this nice par five hole. Come on. Par five again. This is where we need to absolutely capitalize. Oh, mind that I tree. I lost it. Did I hit that tree? No, I don't think I did look at the yards down there. I think we got away with that one. I didn't notice the tree on the left-hand side there. That was silly. Here's our second shot. Because on master on difficulty, you don't, get the, uh, you don't get the blue arc showing on the screen uh, of, the, uh, of the ball trajectory. Uh, why is the game giving me an 8-iron? <laughs> Wow, okay, so we're going to have to really shape this ball in now. Uh, I think we're going to go... We're going to have to err on the side of absolute caution here and play a big slinging draw right around the corner. We're obviously not going to make the green there with the three wood, but if we can come up here somewhere, uh, we might be okay. Even if we run into this rough here, it should be an easy chip. Come on, we're getting this timing, baby. Come on, keep keep coming, ball. Keep coming, ball. Keep coming. That's fine. I don't mind a little bit of light rough. That's absolutely fine. Setting up here, green side rough. What have we got? 19 to 93. So that's 100%. I am going to chunk this back just to uh, give it a bit more loft, just to try to stop the ball a little bit quicker. So 90%, we'll call this 90%. So I'm thinking I'm going to come back to around about... Uh, see, these balls do run and run and run coming out of the, coming out of the rough. I mean, 90% is going to land about here. And then I'm going to go... I'm going to go about... Yeah, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to do it here. Just use this slope here, bring it down to the pin. 
That's not very pretty. That's not very pretty. Ugh, that's going to be hard work. Five under. That's going to be a hard putt. So what I like to do for my putts is I like to visualize them with the uh, with my mouse pointer here. Um, so I kind of just gauge at each grid what the ball path is going to do. I just kind of visualize it. I mean, we've got a bigger break towards the end when the ball is dying of speed. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn more towards the end of the putt. I think we're going to go back there. Nope, it's drop. Getting there. Oh! I, had a, I, I knew I should have gone one more. I knew I should have gone one more. That feels like a missed opportunity. That feels like a missed opportunity, really. Par and a par five. Right, we're going to have to slide this ball left to right to see if we can hold it against this, uh, this fairway. It looks like it really, really cambers down here to the left-hand side. But we're off to a great start. And my timing's not too bad currently. We're doing okay for the timing here. Judge this pretty well. This will probably finish down here somewhere in between these two shadows. Down here, I'm guessing. That's absolutely fine. Well, that'll work for you. Got about 127. Uh, 127. Come on, game. Why does the game give me pitch shots from 127? I mean, this looks pre Oh, punch, punch shot. We don't want a punch shot, do we? Hang on a minute. What's going on here? Normal. There we go. Game's trying to stitch me up. Okay, sand wedge looks good. We're going to put a little bit of forward spin on it. Uh, wind off the right, and we've got a kick lie here, which is going to go left as well. I think we're going to play for this side here. If we finish here somewhere, it should be a nice uphill putt. Good. Good. Has he got the line? Oh, look at the kick. Heading for it. Man, look at the kick. Oh, yeah. You'll take those all day. Wow. I didn't see the kick line affecting it that much. And if this drops, you'll get your birdie here. Good chance, though. Get in, baby. Oh, oh he's almost in. All right, not much left here. All right, tapping that one into par, moving on. That's two missed opportunities right, there. Should have, have been, should have been two better. We should have been six day. under. Should have been six under. Par four. All right, let's bomb this one. Beautiful swing. Okay, let's just speed this up with the space bar. 281, 282. Yeah, this one's about Did I accidentally? Away. Oh, yeah, I think I went down to the three wood there to keep it short. So we've got a big kick lie here again. Uh, 131 to the pin. 131 to the pin. See, this is where it gets really, really difficult. 131 to the pin. Then we're going to come down to... We're going to have to start judging these like this, I think. Uh... I think we're going to have to start judging them like this. I mean, this kick lie has got to be that much. Gone the other side this time. Oh, look at the kick. Come on, baby. Sit down soft. Yeah, that'll play. Okay, here's your putt for birdie. Wow. 11-3 up. Oh, my goodness. So I do have a, a counting method. So the counting method that I use is um, I count the grids on the way to the hole. So I basically give them from a range from 1 to 10. Um, so I would call these pretty much for a green grid line. Uh, we're, not quite, uh, we're not quite yellow. I would probably call these about an 8, maybe a 9. So 9, 18... 27 and then because the hole's halfway through i would go kind of half of nine so we're going to go another maybe four and a half five so if we call it maybe i don't know 31 32 um so what i then do is i'd count out 32 clicks 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 32. So I'm going to go back there, 32. Now, another way to do it quickly is I call these grids here 60. So they're 60 wide. Um, the hole's always 30. It's always in the middle, so 30 either side. So if you want to do this quickly, if you've got like a 30 putt, you can literally put your arrow um, on the grid. But we're going to go for that. Towards that hole. Boom. Get in there, baby. And the putt drops in for birdie. Look at that run of pars. That's not good. Those were not difficult holes. Down to five under. And this right, one three iron. Two, three, three, seven. Two, three, seven. I think the three iron, if I fully loft it, runs out to about... I think it runs out to about two, four, one. Um, if memory serves me correctly. So what we might have to do is we might have to take a little bit off this. Maybe go down to about 98%. Just see if we can hit that shorter shot. Now we do have a headwind. Very, very little. Very little. That's not going to touch it. Um, so let's go. Let's try this. Oh, what a beaut. What a beautiful shot. How is the one pushing this ball that far right? That, I've kind of miscalculated that, I think. Decent approach there. Okay, Here I've definitely go. miscalculated that away. one. But that's okay. Uh, right. Uh, so I think we're going to go, I think the most of the break is back here. When the ball's going at its fastest speed. So I don't think it's going to turn as much as what you think. I think we're going to go back here. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, bang. What a putt. Get in. What a putt. Really misjudged that tee shot. Let's cue the replay. Let's cue the replay. Great read. Sitting at six under par after that one. I mean, we really need to get seven under par front nine. Teeing up now on hole number nine. Obviously a par 71, I think this is. So we do need to get a uh, 12 under par round to get 59. All right. So that's 408, 16 feet uphill. Uh, we should be okay here, you know. That's late. That's late. Please don't be left in the bunker. No, we're okay. We're good. We're good. We are good. Good shape, 326, okay, 86 yards. We're going to have to go in with a pitch shot, which isn't my favorite shot to play. I'm not very good at judging these. So we're up. Let's go. <sighs> I'm not very good at judging these. We're, we're up four, so we're playing 90 yards. We're playing 90 yards. I am not good at judging these at all. How much is this kick lie going to play here? I mean, I'm going to go back here. Let's not hit this here. We've got a two mile an hour wind off the right helping us. Man, I can't get the perfect perfect. Come on. Oh, my God. How have I misjudged that so badly? Well, I can't hit all the greens. Setting up here now for our third shot. How have I misjudged that so badly? Oh, do you know why? I've just remembered. <laughs> I'm so used to playing... I'm so used to playing pro difficulty. It's just dawned on me. When I'm changing the loft... I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it reflected here. So this isn't changing as I loft. I've played way too much online pro uh, matchmaking right now. Uh, the duels and the solos. Uh, I completely forgot that. So we are nine holes in. I'm not going to re-record this video. We're just gonna. We're just gonna roll with this. We're just gonna roll with this. But this is the mistake I have made. I have forgotten that when you alter these, you don't see it affect here 
so the camera doesn't change where the ball is going to land. So that's the mistake I've made. So we're going to we're going to go for this. We're going to carry on rolling. I think what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to play the percentages. That's what I'm going to be playing. So what do we got? Let's go two grids down. 19 feet. We got a kick lie. We're going to go for about here. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Come on. Oh my goodness. Ooh, nice little chip on that one. Four feet to go. And you are looking okay. at a six. So we <laughs> nine holes in. We've just worked it out. <laughs> right, I used to play nice Master and Legendary nice all the time area. back throughout the uh, for the years on uh, on these games. Uh, Master or Legendary, but play like I said, playing so much pro difficulty, you've I just completely brain there. Uh, yeah, brain farted is the expression, isn't it? So that's okay. That's no big deal. That's no big deal. We've got this. We can go low back nine now. We can go low. Let's go. Not bad. Good shot. And hopefully this one's nice and safe in the fairway. So we're definitely going to be playing the percentages now this so we can see the change in the arrow. The pin. Um, right, pitch shots. Is pitch shot up seven. I mean, yeah, it's going to... Uh, I'm going to pull it back just to make sure we stop this ball. And again, what's this fairway doing? Kind of looks like it's levelish. Slightly to the right. That's okay. We might get a bounce. Oh boy, 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 boy. That one. Well done. I am not making this easy. If you get down there to seven under par. I am not making this easy for myself. Seventeen four. Uh, so all the break again is the first part of this putt. We're going to go here. Come on. Come on. Get in. Finding your way around this Get in, boy. Of the day. Right. We're keeping bogeys and off the card. That one, you're at seven under. Seven under. All Let's right. go. Let's see what happens on hole number 11. There's my wife and my little girl coming in. It's my caddy and my helper. <laughs> okay, about 230 yards. Right, 231. 231. 231. Oh, four iron. Four iron. Four iron's the club. 12 down, so we're going to take off three from that. Uh, 228. Four iron. What's it landing? 219. Do you know what? I think we're going to go for this. I'm not going to mess around with this too much. Now, this is definitely a kick lie to the left. How much, though? How much? We're going to go there. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Get up there. We like that. Yes, that's the shot. Chance of eagle. And there's some fantastic golf putting for Eagle. Chance of Eagle. Oh, this look at this. Putt. You love to see putts like this. You absolutely love to see putts like this. this putt's good so far. Ooh, that's just going to drop on. That's going to help us out. Well that is going to help us out. Come on. We're on track. We are well on track for that 59. Is currently nine under par. Teeing it up now on the 12th. Uh, do we want to bomb this all the way down? Do you know what? I think I'm going to. I'm going to unleash this baby. Let's nuke it. Let's get down here. And then we've got the length of the green. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to go early on the dial and go up here. Uh, this is going to be a ballsy shot. Can I get it over there as well? I might clip that tree. So we're going to have to play a little draw around that tree. Which is bringing that water more into play. Is this the shot? I'm going to purposely try, if anything, to miss this late. I've got it. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got it perfect at the top. Come on, ball. Go, 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 go. That's fine. It's a good shot. 
I was trying to purposely hit it late up here to not bring the water in. That's okay. That's fine. That's absolutely Second fine. Shot on the 12th. Uh, right, 50-yard pitch. Uh, it should release up the hill quite nicely. Again, what's this is the difficult thing we're playing master. How is this? How do you? like work out how much that kick line is playing on pro difficulty it's very easy because when you hold the shift key you get the grid come up here so you can see the kick i'm guessing because the green's going left i'm guessing it's going to kick to the left so we're going to play up here and then hopefully we can chase this ball in oh this is too hard sit down baby Okay, we'll take that. Here we go. This one for birdie. Take that. Looking pretty good. Solid, so good good hole. Ten under par. Shot. So we're currently sitting at 61 on a 61. Sitting at 10 under after that one. All right, one All right, nine two. Let's see what we can do here on the 13th. Does this change? No, it doesn't. Okay, 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 okay. Right, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do this solely on complete feel 192 into a wind seven iron should release a little bit let's play it this side and hopefully we we can get a little bit of run maybe if we uh, maybe if we do this we can encourage the roll that's a good shot that's a good shot come on go baby go 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 not bad, not bad. It's going to be a tricky part, left or right. Great work there. That's a great approach. Ten feet to go. But it is uphill. No, it is uphill. That's the good thing. Ten feet uphill. So I'm thinking we're going to go... I mean, we can get low on this if we really wanted to really kind of get a feel for it. I think this one here is going to play quite a bit, this first grid line. Come on, baby. Get in your hole. That was a golf shot. That was a golf shot. Can we go birdies all the way on the back nine? 11 under par currently. Here comes a par five. Par five. Here we go. Let's launch it. Let's nuke it over the corner. We've got nothing in the way. This is an absolute green light. Let's draw this a little bit. Look at where the pin is. The pin is way down there. So the... Ooh, this is yeah this is this is a long one this is a long hole ah oh that is so ugly that is so ugly this might rule out going for it in two come on get out of there 330 yards i don't think this is going to give us enough of a shot but this does look flat Two, three, one. We have more than got enough here. We have more than got enough. Two, three, one. We're going to make sure we get some loft on this to get over this tree. We might have to... Uh, we might have to shape it a little bit around the corner just to make sure we don't hit this corner. So we're kind of going for a... A wee draw... Uh, sorry, a wee fade. A lazy fade around there. Kind of want this uh, three iron landing about here. Big shot. That's okay. Oh, we would have easily cleared that tree. Easily cleared that tree. Come on. Get up. Stay. Stay. Oh, that was a bit loose. That was a bit loose. That was a bit loose. Come on. And this is your third shot. Seven... I mean, we're going uphill, one foot uphill. So let's, again, use that logic that I always use. Put the arrow two grid lines before the hole. Can we get another chip out, Eagle? We're going there. I mean, look how small these lines are now. T 
turn, 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 turn. Oh! Ooh, look at here. Nice chip. Golf game, give me something. Pull down a birdie. And give me something. To the next hole. We'll take the birdie though. Under 12 under through 14. Score. Solid. I mean, we are. See how close can get this one. We're going to do that. Come on, we've got to do this. We've got to do this. We've got to do this. 14 down into a wind. So we're going to take off five. That's going to play 203. 203. 197. Can we get the six iron there? It's probably with that wind that's going to hold it. We need to get onto this top shelf. Or we can play this and we can bring this this back. The only trouble is with a fire iron, we're going to get a lot more roll. Okay, we're going to hit this. It's dropped down to a one. We've missed it on the bottom, but it should be okay. We just need to get up this front shelf. And we should maybe finish somewhere halfway between. That's that's all right. That's a good shot. That's a that good shot. Another green and rag. I'm liking it. Here we go. Ten feet away. Come on. Ten one up. Okay. Oh. It's heading towards the hole. Stroke. Look at this for a streak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes under par streak. Thirteen under at the Just moment. gotta keep it just gotta here keep it good. Go just gotta keep it good here. Number 16. Right, what have we got? It's quite a long one. 424. 424. 424. So we definitely need to bring out the big dog. Let's uh, get it shaping around this water. Little Beautiful bit left. Swing. Should be okay though. I'd rather be this side than this side. Right, 322. So it's going to leave us like 100 yards in. Yeah, we've got about oh, 150. 150 yards oh. To the pin from Wait, here. how long did I say this hole was? Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, right, pitching wedge. Kick lie. We've got 154, so we're going to have to bring this back. I mean, the kick line is going to play a lot here. Now, we're going for 94%. Where's the practice swing? So, these are sometimes a little bit tricky to judge. Oh my god. Okay, because I'm because I've changed from 100%. Um yeah, it's it's different click rates. I'm not good at judging these these partial shots. Better. Okay, we got this. Come on. Just press me C key. Go, 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 go. Yes. Nice shot into this green. Good work. It's another right, another gettable part. Birdie and peace out. What do you say? Oh, 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 And there we go. Dropping that putt in there for. What a streak. 30. What a streak. Come on. 14 under. And sitting at 14 under par after that hole. Let's see how this one goes. Oh my three. goodness. Five. Five up. So that's playing 225. So five yards. Oh, this is kind of tricky. We might be giving ourselves a very long putt here. Or else we can use... We can sort of slide this ball in. Maybe that might be the better shot. The only trouble is the more we do this, the harder it's going to be to hit it. We can kind of draw this ball in here. Oh, what a shot. I think that's the oh, first perfect, perfect I, I've had. 
too much, isn't it? It's too much. Kick left. Come on. Come on, ball. Go. Go, 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 go. Too much. Way too much draw. Uh, fade, sorry. I just thought that was a better way to get out that pin. Okay with that. And for an oh, astonishing 15 come on. Under par for the day. This actually might have been an easier putt than leaving it up here. I mean, look at this up here. We've got a relatively flat grid here. Now, is... Is this going to be true, or are we going to get a ghost break? Because I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking it might be a little bit right here, but it's a little bit left here, a little bit left here. I this is gonna this surely this has got to be straight. Come on, come on, baby! Oh, oh get in your hole! Beautiful shot! Beautiful. That's what we're talking yeah, about. We're fire up a replay after that. God, what the real life pros would do for a round like this this weekend loving it what a beautiful leave that was all right let's exit that replay 15 under par is your score 15 under through 17 can we finish in so style bring this thing home now on the 18th tee and of course let's not make any foolish mistakes because we don't want to ruin this round that will definitely be a waste of a video. <laughs> Beauty of a swing Launch. There. Launched it. Come on. This one's about 105 yards out. Well, this is definitely going left for sure. Okay, let's change to a normal shot because the game being the game likes to give us punch uh, pitch shots from ridiculous distances. 107. Oh, I mean, this is the club. 16 up. So an extra five. I mean, this is the number. This is the number straight away. I think we're just going to put a little bit of, of check on this just to uh, just to keep us in there by the hole. Now, this has got to go quite a bit left. But we are on a short distance. We have got a lob wedge on our hand, so maybe it's not going to go as much left as what we think. Let's go for it. But the wind slightly off the right. That is definitely going left now. Oh my god, look at this. This is way left. Way Ooh, left. I think this could be good. It didn't help that I completely missed the bar at the top. Distance was perfect. Done. Well judged. We're going to enjoy this walk up to the last green. We're going to wave to the fans. We're going to get this 16 under par. They've never seen anything like this before. Look at these crowds. I mean, they're absolutely ecstatic. Look. Minus 15. They're going absolutely wild, these fans. Come on. Uh, so nine inches, three down. Oh, this is going to be a quick putt. This is going to be a quick putt. I don't want to miss this on the last. This will really taint the round. We're going to try here. We're going to go for this. Oh, I've hit it too hard. Have I? On Have a I? Good line. Oh! oh it's going right by the hole. All right, let's sink this putt and head to the clubhouse. Ah, what a rubbish way to end. Well done, up there. We're done here, and it's a 15 under par. 15 for you. under par. I think we definitely got and that 59. That, I will let you go. What do we get? What, what's that? 56. We're in with a 56, everyone. Absolutely smashed it. So take note, pros, this weekend at Copperhead. Um. That's how you shoot a 56. You want to look at every whole, every strategy that I played there and you will definitely win this weekend for sure. So everyone, hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, I think that's the first time I've gone below 60 on Master. Normally I'm around about the 60. Uh, so it was quite favorable conditions there today. But it was my own fault, really, that we didn't go lower. I completely forgot the front nine about how the loft and the spin doesn't change that little white arrow. I reckon, I reckon if I remembered that here, we would have been way lower than this. We would have been shooting possibly 20 under. I, Yeah, we wouldn't have made those silly mistakes here. I reckon there's a 20 under there on Master Difficulty for sure. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed that one. Please check out my other videos on the game. Uh, I do stream every night, uh, Monday to Friday, usually around about 8pm UK time. Um, you can find me sort of uh, over the weekend as well at 
very variable times. I'm not too sure what the schedule is. Obviously, I don't know if you saw, but I've got a 14-month-old baby that came walking through the door there. Uh, so obviously with her, it's a little bit difficult to have a, a real solid structure. But do look out for me. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all on the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.